Writing and managing SOPs and business processes is boring and hard. Let's just be honest. And without the right tools, they often fall by the wayside, becoming outdated, forgotten, and unclear, leaving you answering your employees' questions on repeat. So what's the solution? Let's dive in. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated and set up using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. Now, if you find yourself consistently answering your employees' questions or even jumping in and completing tasks on their behalf, well, it's clearly time to talk about SOPs and how to best manage them. You know, those simple step-by-step -step guides that enable you to complete tasks, scale your business, and do things more smoothly and consistently. The key though, your SOPs, guides, resources, whatever you want to call them, they need to be crystal clear, easy to find, and up to date. That's where SmartSuite comes in. It allows you to build a centralized hub for all of your processes, enabling your team to work independently. No more bugging you. And you can achieve all this without piling a whole heap of work onto your already stacked plate. Let's explore how. So this is where our marketing team control everything from initiatives to projects to tasks to content and our SOPs or standard operating procedures. Here we can see that we've created a sort of mix of resources, guides and procedures. And we've tagged those here. We've got templates for the SOP template, but also our YouTube content, our description template. Then we've got our standard procedures and processes here. We'll also notice that we've got those that are complete and up to date. We've got those that are currently sitting on the backlog and those that are in process. We can easily access our document, which is housed in Google Doc here. And if we jump in, we'll see some more information about who actually created this and when it was last updated. In this video, we're gonna look at creating a similar hub in SmartSuite where you can store all of your team's resources so they can do their work without needing to bug you. The great thing about SmartSuite is that you can have your resources within the same software as all of your other work and data. So no need for your team to navigate to another tool, log in, search for a guide, and then come back. We can also have our standard operating procedures linked directly to tasks so that your team can jump straight into their work without any blockers. Now, there are two possible ways for us to approach this. Creating an SOP or resource hub with documents using the smart doc field, which is native to smart suite, or linking another doc from a platform like Google Docs, which we just saw in our example. Let's just first create a app or table within our marketing solution. And we're going to label it SOPs. Then from here, we'll look at creating new fields within our app that directly relate to documents or guides or SOPs. So currently we've got the title. Let's change this to the process. Then we've got the assigned to. Now we're going to remove this and we're going to have a created by field. So we'll delete that. And we're just gonna select field to display to ensure that we don't currently have that field yet. Last updated, first created, let's bring these in. And we'll just quickly add a process. Let's say we're writing our SOP for keyword research. Then we'll notice here, and now that that's loaded, we can see that it was first created on January 25th by me, and it was last updated on January 25th again by me. So from here, all we need to do is ensure that we've got the right fields. We've got priority. Let's delete this field. We don't need that. We've got the status. Now let's actually change what those status values are. We've got backlog in process, ready for review complete. Um, we'll keep backlog in progress and we'll change this to update and up to date. Let's also change this color to a red and we'll update that field. We'll say that this is currently in process. We're gonna remove the due date field, we don't need this. And then depending on which process you decide to go with, you'd either create a smart doc field and we'll just say smart doc SOP for the sake of the video, wait for that to load. Then if we open this, we'll notice that we can edit directly within SmartSuite, much like we can any other document editor. There are some limitations and it isn't as capable and functional as a Google doc or even using another document centric platform like Coda or Notion, but it does get the job done. 
Now, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna include the Google Docs that we've already created within Automation Helpers internally. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna delete the Smart Doc field to be replaced with just a simple link or URL field. We'll select that and we're just going to call it SOP link. Then it's just a simple process of jumping into your Google Workspace, grabbing that doc and pasting it there. Let's continue working on this and create a better visual, informative, easily accessible and linked hub for our SOPs. So we're still here in the SOP app or table. Let's actually change this view so it's a bit better to understand where to access documents and so on. So we've got the grid view, but I want to use the card view, which is similar to a gallery view in plenty of other platforms. We'll just leave it as card view, bring this in, and then we're able to change the card size. I'm gonna go with a medium and the fields that we want to display. I want the last updated to be shown, the link, the status, and let's create a couple other fields. So here we can see we've got keyword research. I'm just gonna go and quickly grab the link for this particular SOP document. Okay, so I've added the Google Doc link. And now if you are currently in the marketing team, you're working through your campaigns, you can just quickly jump over to the SOPs. Oh, I forgot, what is our process for our keyword research? And let's just say that our team has done their due diligence and this SOP is up to date. I know I've got the all clear to navigate to it and then follow the steps, but we can take this much further. Let's take a look at how we can connect our SOPs directly to our marketing tasks. Now there is the completely and utterly simple way of just creating a new record. We'll go with the holiday 2024 and just linking this bad boy to it. So if we scroll down, we'll add a new field to this table. We're gonna search linked record. We'll select that there. And then we're going to select the table or the app, which is SOPs, add field. Then we'll just have to open our dropdown because whenever you add a new field to your smart suite record, the new field's gonna appear at the end. So we've got link to SOPs. All I would need to do would be to select keyword research and then that record is linked. So we're back in our hub here, the SOPs table or app. You might notice that I've created another field. Now this is a single select field and within it we've got general as an option, partnerships and ad campaigns. Now the reason I've done that is perhaps you have all of your SOPs living within the one hub. You don't have specific solutions for your different departments. Well, in that case, you'd want to create a single select or perhaps multi-select field so that you can break up these SOPs by department. Like for instance, we might have just the marketing department the HR department and a sales department. I'll just quickly add that field and changing it to department first. So when you create your SOPs, you can work through and decide, well, which department does this correlate to? Or which department actually needs to see these? Now, obviously for this solution, it's all going to be marketing, but from there, then you can use Smart Suites filtering and dashboard views to only show the SOPs to that particular department. Super easy, but let's look at automation. That's why we're here. So we want to give you the least amount of extra work, right? That's where SmartSuite's native automations come into play. So we're going to add an automation and create our first one. Now we'll notice if I just quickly jump out again, that we've got the last updated. Now you want to ensure that your standard operating procedures, your process guides, all of that are up to date. Well, how do we do that? Let's say we want to review and update an SOP after 12 months. It's been updated 12 months ago. Okay, well, let's have a review and make sure the information is correct. Well, to do this, we're just gonna set up an automation so that you don't have to write down a note or create a task. Smart Suite will automatically notify you when you need to do this. So when a record matches a condition where, make sure that the SOP table is selected, where the last updated on is equal to a year from now. You'll notice that you can include multiples and you can also use the other customizing options here to further decide what date that falls on. Um, from there, then we can create the action and this action will be to update our SOP. 
it will automatically pull through that same record from the trigger we can see here when a record matches that's the record we're updating so we'll select the status super simple and we want the value now to be update so as we've seen all of our current sops are up to date meaning they're good to go well a year from now let's get our team to go through review and update those so it's all well and good to update the record status but we also want to notify our team now we can do this through slack google gmail or we can rely on smart suite to do this for us by actually assigning a particular person to that sop now i removed the assignee earlier i'll just add this automation yep we'll switch that on but if you want a particular person on a particular date to go through and review each of your SOPs, well, the assigned to field will enable you to do that. From there, you can create other automations that directly action tasks to occur, link particular documents, and so more. If you want to learn more about how you can automate your workflows within SmartSuite, make sure that you check out this video linked above. If you need help setting up your business or automating parts of it, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.